we have come a long way. And if you are new here, we've come a long way, but we've been doing it for, well, publicly since February of 2018. We put it out there, we draw it, it happens. We call the market, we trade off the market, trade bots with our own selves. We've done, we do many things, many things. But at the end of the day, my thumbnails might be done with paint. I might not have a big fuzzy microphone. We might get a little enthusiastic, but our pudding tastes good. And your crypto wallets, as long as those get fat, that's all that matters to me over everything else. Now, that being said, this little, um, I guess, we haven't had a real spike back yet. But I want to zoom out macro and I want everyone to kind of take a good look of where we're at. By the way, we drew this prophecy, the prophecy on October 26th. Okay, if you're new here. So this is the second, this is the first prophecy that came to fruition for months, all this. This is the second prophecy. It's pretty much being nailed. We missed it by about a month, but the exact trajectory, come on. I mean, come on, people. Come on. Where else can you get it? Now, if you've been with our channel and you have been doing the right thing, what can you do to use your crypto to truly secure your financial future because the answer there's more investments in things in life that are certainly more secure than crypto there's real estate and there's something specific i want to show you guys but first let's ask these let's I have to show this real quick. Asked him how traders should behave in this seemingly never-ending crypto bear market. Okay, this guy's. Hang on, let me let me back back up. This old this guy some wrote this book, Diary of a Professional. He was a commodities trader, and um, well, he's got something to say on Coin Telegraph. Apparently, Coin Telegraph's got something to say. Let's see what they let's hear what they have to say. Including the best-selling Diary of a Professional Commodity Trader. We reached out to Peter and asked him how traders should behave in this seemingly never-ending crypto bear market. Oh, well, what do you think the answer is? Well, I know what I think the answer is, what we've been doing. Why we short, we short that shit. We short the tops. Oftentimes in trading, keeping your money intact is is the best thing you can do um and uh well, you know we've seen a tremendous amount of wealth deteriorate in the spare market in 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 the coins and crypto markets and uh, those who went on the sidelines back in december january february uh and decided they're going to sit on their cash are far better off than than the person uh that's become an active trader and trying to be defensive and in and, and jumping around from coin to coin hell no not us not us, baby. And so this guy is either fooling you because he's doing what we're doing. You know, or he's just a good bullshitter, right? So if you are losing right now, you got to get your act together and, uh, Stop doing the same thing you've been doing so you get the same results. Now, I'll tell you, um, to my whale crew, mm, this message might be a little, much, uh, a little bit more directed towards you guys because I know some of you are making, um, making gains that you've never made before. So, I bring you, oh, uh, is this a, not, a, not, not a BitConnect calculator? Jeez, 
Oh, shit, it's a traditional IRA. Never mind. But it's a legal BitConnect. Guess what, guys? BitConnect. There's another BitConnect. And it's called an IRA. Now, now I notice some of you are like, oh, oh, oh. There's going to be some nerds in the comments who are like, oh, everyone, everyone knows what an IRA. Oh. But let's be honest. Not everyone does, and not everyone uses it, even if you do. So... Let's say, let's say that uh, you had a thousand dollars. There's a guy in my group who took twenty dollars, turned it into three hundred. There's a guy that's taken a thousand, turned it into fifteen thousand. So I'm gonna go off that guy and just say, let's say he took that fifteen thousand, and let's say he put ten thousand into a traditional IRA, and let's say every year. Now that he's, you know, learned a new skill and whatever, let's say he just puts $2,000 a year into it. Uh, let's say he's 31. Age retirement, 65. None of that shit matters. Look, by the time he's 65, $300,000. Let's say you made twenty thousand. Let's go ahead and put twenty thousand. You want to know what? Do you want to know what I? You people ask me, crypto face. What do you do with your crypto? What do you do? I put it into stuff like this. I, um, real estate, financial, finance. I tell you, I don't. I tell you, I don't want to wake up one morning knowing that China took over the took over my country and all this shit's gone screw the stock market stocks i don't i don't i don't put i'm not telling anyone what to i'm not this isn't this is not financial advice this is not financial advice for pete's sake i uh, just research it that's all that's that's all i'm trying to say research it um this is what i do this is what i do okay now as far as the actual market as of right now, there's people flopping and groping. Let me handle the, the flopping gropers on BitMEX right now. Um, yeah, we're going we're going up a little bit here, right? Could be a couple steps. There's a couple people saying, you know what? It's and, and it's very true. At any point, we could have a spike that you know shoots us up. The other um, here's what I will say. All right, and I noticed this. You know, things are kind of cool, and they're they're starting to curve. They're starting to curve, and normally, in a pattern like this, it's like a skipping rock. I've even mentioned it before. So it's like a, a rock skipping on a lake, and then it'll psh, pounce off. So, this this is the first kind of rock skip. This, psh, right? Then it might be another one, psh, and then pop. Then it'll pop, right? So I'm kind of saying, so we're, we're starting to curve. We're starting to curve. Prophecy shows 2400. We certainly could just go s skip a rock and poop down again. We are far away from the dragon, the original, the elder dragon line here. And so we could certainly dance, but I don't think so. I'm overall, I'm overall bearish. Uh, I know we're at the 3000 line. And so, yes, there could be some spikes. So on BitMEX, here's the thing. I know you guys, to my whale crew specifically, to the whale crew specifically, there's been a lot of confidence building lately because we've been absolutely murdering the game. You're more confident. We're all more confident. Um, and so it's these little times where you, you get to check yourself. You guys have been, you, you know, you're used to having trades always go your way. Now it's a Saturday. It's a weekend, right? Um, and if you're in a short, it's kind of going the opposite way. It it checks you. So check yourself before you wreck yourself. These are the times where you remind yourself to make sure that you're using comfortable leverage, that you're using comfortable positions. And I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little upset. And a couple of the whales I'm seeing in chat looks like a couple people. And I know some of you guys are, are leveraging harder because you can afford to do it. 
I'm more of talking to the people um, that maybe don't have as much wealth as they should, that maybe aren't living as comfortably as as others, right? Where some people do this for fun, um, you know, people with a lot of money, and you know, it's not a big deal if they go 25x and and it goes, you know, pop. They don't care. I mean, they care, but doesn't hurt them. But for people, I mean, if you're if you're really seriously, if you're serious, then you shouldn't be using high leverage um, on a weekend in a time like this. And so, I don't really see us maybe having any any more of a pump than this. Maybe we can have one more, you know, one more come up to like the 33. I'd say maybe 3,400 tops, and it's time to slide down and have a good time again. Um, But yes, yes, I see, I see, and yes, there are, there is slight, there's more people starting to, more people are starting to short the numbers on, um, from, uh, Bitfinex, BitMEC coin fram, it was 52% when it was, when it, when Bitcoin's going down hard, that was 52% of people are shorting, when it's going up 60% longing. So now when it's going down, it's at 53%. So more people are starting to short. 1% um, difference. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. So all I'm saying, my question I want to ask you people is what are you doing? What do you plan on doing with with your earnings to, to actually, you know, secure yourself? And... Um, because I think some of you just end up looking like this guy. Do you want to look like this guy? Look at him. What do you think? What do you do? You think does this guy when if you lose a shit ton of money, if let's say you've been you're banking on this dude and all this and fifteen twenty five thousand and it disappears, and that's the face. That's the face you see. They go, oh well, I can't find it. Huh? So I think that's all. I think that's all. 